I'm Rob Ellis. I am the, the, one of the founders of BTC Software. Um, I'm a technical person. My main day-to-day -day work is, is designing and developing the software with a team back at our um, office in Surrey. <coughs> Paul, who's with me at the back, um, he's our business development director. Um, so uh, his main responsibilities include managing our, our sales and marketing teams and exploring new market opportunities. So we'll both be here afterwards to, to talk to you uh, about anything you'd like to, to talk about MTD and our other software. Um, the most important thing, we won three of the Accounting Web Excellence uh, Awards this year uh, for our practice management, accounts production and practice suite software. Um, we're very proud of that. We were founded in 1999. We've been around quite a while. Um, so we're not just some young upstart here to do MTD. Uh, we do a lot more than that. Um, we have 2,000 organizations using our software. Um, most of those are accountants in practice. Uh, there are some accountants in industry as well. Um, we have a very close working relationship with HMRC, which is important, especially for MTD and for everything that's going to go on in the future, with not just MTD for VAT, but also M MTD for, for business. Um, and we're UK-based. Everything we do is in the UK. Um, we have one central office in Surrey. Um, so, to get on with it, for John's benefit, um, BTC Hub. For those that you that, that do know our software, you know of us as um, on-premise, desktop-based software. That's where our practice management and uh, taxation software is at the moment. Um, BTC Hub is brand new to us. Um, it is our first software as a service product. So it runs in a browser. Um, it's already being used, as I stand here, for people filing VAT returns. Um, we've onboarded just under 100 customers since the uh, private pilot for HMRC went public last week or the week before. Um, I say it's browser-based. One of the key things about it is it integrates to our existing desktop products. So if you are a user of our software, um, behind the scenes, it uses the same database. So all of your clients are in both places, which means as you transition from the old tax platform, self-assessment, to MTD, whether that's for VAT or self-assessment, uh, self you only have one database to manage. And those clients are in, the, in that database, and you can see them in both places. Um, the hub can be used by practitioners, companies, sole traders, and individuals. So we have a version of it that you can let your, your customers use if they want to file their own VAT returns, but you'll be able to see that data. So you can keep an eye on what they're doing. Um, it integrates with other third-party software. So we are not a bookkeeping package, and we will never will be. Um, so we give you a way of, of integrating to the other um, uh, bookkeeping packages, or, or Excel as well, so you can see all of your customers' VAT returns in one place via our, our hub. Um, and as it says there, it enables you and uh, agents and individuals to validate and submit VAT returns in MTD compliant format. Um, and it also provides that dashboard that I've already talked about. That's one thing I do is I talk over my slides, <laughs> which I apologize for. Right. Go fast enough, John? <laughs> Okay, so I'm now going to demonstrate the hub to you. Um, if I get to the right place, that one there. So, so this is this is our new platform. Um, on the home page, you can see recent VAT returns that have been worked upon um, and recent clients that you've worked upon. Um, you have a database of your individual clients and organisations as well. Um, and for each of those, you can have a VAT dashboard which shows you uh, returns that are being worked on. So if I pick one that's there. Uh, this is linked to HMRC Sandbox, which is never really guaranteed to work. So um, do I want to do this? I don't think it's going to let me do this. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, but the VAT dashboard, I'll show you how it gets data in from Excel, shows you the VAT returns in, in actually being submitted to HMRC. So one of the key things that people have been asking us is, how do my clients continue to use Excel or use other software that isn't MTD enabled? Um, so we've written various different imports for different packages, one of which people are really interested in is, is the Excel one. Um, so this is just a simple Excel workbook, and it can be any Excel workbook your clients are used to using. This one just has a couple of tabs where they can put in sales and purchases. That feeds into a VAT summary that you see on the screen there. 
And when I'm ready to submit it, by clicking this button here, that data gets passed to the hub. The client has to exist in the hub, uh, the VAT number has to exist, and the period has to match up. But you'll see at the bottom of the screen here, it's created a VAT return that's ready for filing to HMRC. Um, and I can submit that quite simply just by clicking this button. Confirm the declaration. And if H, oh, that was quick. So HMRC are playing ball. Uh, that's now submitted to HMRC in the, in the sandbox test environment. And there's the submission receipt for that VAT return. So it really is quite simple um, to get that data in there. The, the other thing I could have done, I could have imported that data, for example, from um, Sage, VT Software, which is another popular bookkeeping package that won't be MTD enabled. Um, Zero, we have an import from Zero. We also have an import from QuickBooks, which isn't on that list there. Um, and we'll be adding to that list uh, as we can. So the question is, some people say, well, why do I want to use this rather than using the free agent filing tool or the, or the Zero filing tool? Um, unless you're like Rebecca and force people to use the same software throughout your package, uh, practice, you'll find that you have your clients using different pieces of software. Um, and this just gives you one centralized view of everything. So you can go to your, your VAT report and you can have a look at the history of the returns um, and see who's filed, who's not filed, and who's behind the times. Um, and just go and look at their filing history from HMRC. Um, if I can get back to my clients, which was... You see also down the right hand side, this would show you liabilities and payments from HMRC um, if they were serving any test data, but they're not at the moment. Um, so back to the slides. Before I go, has anyone got any questions about that before I move back to just a few more slides, just about the future of the hub? Yeah. Uh, so in terms of practice management and client management, uh, yes, it does store other, store other information for that. Um, I say it links to the, the main database that we have behind our other products, which is uh, award-winning practice management uh, and CRM software. Uh, so, and we'll be adding that into the, more into this platform as well as time goes by. Rob, okay. how do you um, connect to the agent services account? Because presumably when the data is available, yep. that's what's how you're at being able to view it in BTC. How, how does the accountant sign into that mechanism? So that the first time they use the dashboard, they'll get prompted to register, to, sorry, not to register, to log in using their new agent services account. So it's, it's a user ID and password. Um, that then creates a security token that lasts for 18 months within the software, um, and they won't have to log in again to that account. Yeah. It's the has, same for the desktop products. Has that been working OK in the... Um, in the pilot, with the new pilot people, because we've had a few niggles on accounting web people have been really you know, logging in and sort of no data, no client, and it's not quite. Working. I think it's a bit of confusion at the moment because it's still in um, public beta. The so you, you register your new agent services account, you then copy across the 64 eights from the old account to the new account, but then you still have to sign up your clients to the MTD pilot, um, and I think some confusion over that step. I think everyone thought. That would just be automatic. I think that's a, a, a stumbling block. You need to come and answer that question on the accounting web for us. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so just popping back to my slides. Um, so the hub, as the gentleman over there asked, is, is our de development platform in the future? It's where we will be adding more of our current desktop functionality to the hub. So practice management, CRM functionality. Um, we will be extending it to add MTD for business and self-assessment um, and whatever else HMRC throw at us as, uh, as time goes by. So uh, we have touched upon earlier on what's going to happen to corporation tax, what's going to happen to accounts production, accounts submission. Um, that will all be built into our, our hub platform. Um, and the other thing we do with everything we do is listen to our customers. So we have dedicated uh, suggestions at BDC Software email address that um, give you a way of telling us what you want out of the software. Just one last thing, pricing, in case you're interested. Um, so you as accountants in, in practice would be using the professional uh, module there, which is 250 pounds for 250 VAT returns, um, whether it be they quarterly or, or monthly, whatever it is, uh, it's a total of 250 returns. And you can add on additional returns for 125 pounds for 125 returns. 
Um, the product, if you want to give a product or sell a product to your, your clients, that is £50 uh, for them to manage one VAT number for as many returns as it needs for a year. So, so who, any who's more got questions? any questions for Rob here? Oh, we've got one. If you, Valma's racing around to give you a microphone so we can all hear her. Uh, this, this spreadsheet that you used, is it a template that you've got to use the same one for every client? No. See, we, do, we supply the template, and you can use it if you want to. But essentially, um, all you need to have in your, in your workbook is an area which is a VAT return uh, summary, and then that, you just name those, you just highlight those cells and, and block them out to be the, the VAT range. And there's a tool in the, in the product that allows you to do that. And then we just extract the data from there. It's all validated, so we make sure that the numbers add up and that it makes sense, both in Excel and in the hub as well, in case you're doing an import from somewhere else. Because it could be an import from a CSV file from Sage, for example. Um, but we provide that as a, as a starter. But any workbook could be used. Any other? Anyone else? Yeah. Okay. She's coming round the bend now. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I can see you obviously got the, the add-in to the top. Yeah. Is this just Windows or is it Mac, other software? Or is it just built for, 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 for a Windows XL? No, so right now the add-in is, is, is Windows based, but it's a very simple add-in because it's not doing any of the submission. It's all going to the hub. So we will have a, a Mac version out around Christmas time. They like, they like the bridging software. <laughs> yeah, and then the, obviously the, the SaaS platform the, is browser-based, so that works on the Mac already. Yeah. Okay, is last call for questions. You don't want to shortchange Rob here. Uh, yeah, you got another one. <laughs> oh. No, so Sorry. it'll go from anything from 2007 onwards. I guess as a final farewell, Rob, maybe you could look into the future of the relationship with HMRC. I mean, Rebecca knows some of the things going in the background, but um, can you give us an idea if HMRC progresses to income tax uh, and beyond to corporation tax. You know, what, what do you, how will that change the shape of the software being used in Brainer? Will we see accounts production shrivel away to something just for the listed companies? <laughs> Um, I don't think anyone quite knows what's going to happen with the corporation tax. Um, as, as Rebecca said, they haven't even consulted on it yet. Um, annual accounts, I suppose there was a time before annual accounts were submitted to Companies House, so maybe there'll be a time after that, but it, it, I think most accountants would shudder to think they weren't filing accounts annually to Companies House. Um, I don't know, John, is the answer to that one? It's just watch this space. Yeah. When we work, we do work with them, we work closely with them and we we'll react to things they do and come up with and also consult with them on, on new initiatives. Yeah. So. Are, there, are there any, you know, what are your big concerns in terms of functionality or changes you might need to implement within the suite between, say, now and 2000, you know, the next five-year plan, I guess. When the, we're not really concerned. I mean, the next thing we'll, we'll be doing is making tax digital for business or self-assessment. Um, we already had that working in our, our desktop platform when it was the pilot um, back in 2017, and obviously it got cancelled or got deferred uh, last summer, um, which we were quite disappointed about. So we'll go back to, to doing that um, once the MTD for VAT uh, product is, is bedded in, everyone's using it, and the, the regime's working. Um, and then whatever comes next. So, but there'll be this, there will be a transition from the, the self-assessment um, regime to the making tax digital regime.